So you're wanting to make custom landless rulers for Crusader Kings 3 version 1.17 and probably beyond? This is a sort of extension video to my creating characters tutorial, so I recommend you watch that tutorial first and then come back to this one when you get up to the titles. So without further ado, we're going to start off with our test DNA and our history file here uh, from the characters tutorial. I don't need this character in here, so I'm going to delete that. But going back into the common slash DNA data, that for our character that we created in the last character creation tutorial, what we want to do is delete all of these here and then add in a line called portrait underscore info and then equals curly brackets. Delete the closing bracket because there is one at the bottom. I'm going to delete the DNA for the second character and then delete these in here. So delete the entity and tags, but keep three curly brackets in here. And then underneath, sorry, I got that wrong. Uh, you put the enabled equals yes inside or outside of the second curly bracket ending. So this is a alteration that I needed to make in the last video that I didn't. Uh, this will alter how your character will look in game, but it will actually apply the DNA or the genes to your character. So with that out of the way, what we want to do now is go into the history folder and create a new folder within that and call that titles. And then within titles, we want to create a new file and call it test underscore L A A M P underscore titles dot txt. So test lamp titles. You could name this whatever you like, uh, but make sure as well that down the bottom right, UTF eight save with encoding is on. And then we're going to create our landless title. So we're going to go D underscore L A A M P underscore test equals curly brackets, and then. We're going to have the date for this character be 867. So in 866.1.1, so a year beforehand, we want to create the title. We'll have the liege is zero, so no liege. And then we'll have the holder equals 900,001, which is the same as this character's ID here. Don't use the DNA variable, just use the one that you named up here. And then below the holder, we want to add in government equals landless underscore adventurer underscore government and then below that we want to have succession underscore laws equals curly brackets and then landless landless underscore adventurer underscore succession underscore law you could do other laws as well uh such as Willado has an equal equal gender law so that you could have uh, either gender get the titles and then below the succession laws we want to go effect equals curly brackets and then create underscore landless underscore event underscore title underscore history underscore effect equals yes and then set underscore variable equals curly brackets and then name equals adventurer underscore creation underscore reason and then space and then value equals flag colon historical and then below that, we're going to have destroy underscore landless underscore title underscore no underscore DLC underscore effect equals and then set a date. So date in full caps equals 867.1.1. So if you don't have the DLC, destroy the title. And then below that, we're going to have or below this 861 bracket, we're going to have an 868.1.1 equals curly brackets and then holder equals zero. So that is this file done. We're going to now create another file within the common, so a new folder and call it landed underscore titles. And then within that folder, we're going to create a new file called test underscore landed underscore titles dot txt. Again, make sure that this is in UTF-8 with bomb. And then we're going to add in a variable. So at never underscore primary primary underscore score equals minus 1000 and then d underscore lamp underscore test so the same name as before and then we change the not the eye color just the normal color the 100 100 100 and then the capital equals c underscore isle underscore diff underscore france so this is essentially paris sorry i didn't qualify i didn't say anything about the color the color here is the same value across all of the adventurer titles i wouldn't recommend changing it as this is the same as every other adventurer 
But anyway, we'll move down below here. We're going to have definite underscore form equals yes, and then landless equals yes, and then require underscore landless equals yes, and then ruler underscore users underscore title underscore name equals no, and then no underscore autom underscore un automatic or automatic underscore claims equals yes and then destroy underscore if underscore invalid underscore air equals yes and then we'll put the ai underscore primary underscore priority equals and then in curly brackets we're going to have add equals at never primary score which is this value up here now since we've finished that we're going to create a new folder within common again and call it on underscore action and then within on action, we're going to create a new file and call it test mod underscore game underscore start .txt. So we're essentially ripping off of the game start txt in the base game, but we're going to create our own effect within it. So we're going to go on underscore game underscore start underscore after, oh, not capital, underscore lobby equals curly brackets and then we're going to have an on actions so this is essentially appending or adding to this already existing on action within the base game so we're going to add in our own effect in here so landless underscore setup so this could be whatever name you like but below the on game start after lobby we're going to essentially copy paste this so test landless setup equal curly brackets and then effect equals and then f equals limit equals and then has underscore episode three dlc trigger equals yes and then below the limits we're going to have the our we're going to name our character so character e colon nine hundred thousand one equals and then if equals curly brackets and then limit equals then is underscore alive equals yes and is underscore landless underscore adventurer equals yes not scope yes man and then below that we're going to have add underscore realm underscore law skip effects equals camp underscore purpose underscore mercenaries so what this is doing is essentially adding an effect in that uh will add to the on game start after lobby this is essentially the same setup as in the base game files except we aren't overwriting the entire file. We're just adding to it. For on actions, I recommend doing stuff like this. If you want to add to an on action that already exists, then adding in your own one here and then adding it into an on action like this is the perfect setup. So now that we've done with this, we can now start working on the localization. So we're gonna create a new folder and call it localization. And within that folder, we're gonna create English, English, not English. And then within that folder, we're going to create another folder called names. Within the English folder, we're going to create a new file and call it test underscore titles underscore L underscore English dot YML. And then within the names, we're going to create a new file in here called test underscore names underscore L underscore English dot YML. And make sure that both of them are saved with UTF-8 with bomb, which they are awesome. And then within the titles, we're going to go with L underscore English. Oh, can't spell colon space and then name the titles that you created earlier so in my case d underscore lamp test and we're going to have oh that's the wrong file d underscore lamp test and then colon and then name your adventure of realm so i'm going to have believers of the test and then going into the names we're going to have l underscore english again colon and then the reason why i've created this file you may not need it but the reason why I've done that is because this name does not exist within the base game. So I'm going to have to actually create localization for his name. So colon zero and then test car. All right, so that is the end of this. We can now launch the mod and test it. Before I launch the mod and test it, I just realized that I need to have another folder in here from the last video. Uh, I just need to move this character in here so that this guy shows up in this file uh, folder so that my game can launch. So once we're in the game, we can now click new game and then go to A67 because that's where I put my adventure. And then since I put my adventure down in Paris, we can scroll in a bit and then select Landless Rulers. So he's there, or we can go to Landless Rulers and find him on this list here. And there we are. 
So that is the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see any more tutorials in the future. Cheers.